Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now in this video I am going to show you how you can restart the digipad when you have some sort of a software hang of the digipad part and in case you want to reset it how you can also reset the digipad. So I will show you both the things how you can restart and reset the digipad in your car and it's going to be a very useful feature. So there are times when we need to reset the digipad or restart the digipad and we face such difficult times while doing some sort of a changes in the digipad and in case you are wondering how you can reset the digipad or try to restart it without touching any of the buttons well I am going to show you exactly how to do that in this video let's get started. So guys before I show you how you can reset the digipad firstly let me just go ahead and show you how you can restart the digipad without touching any of the buttons or without turning off the car as well. So if your digipad is running and it's uh, not responding to any touch well currently my digipad is working and it's responding to any of the touches and as you can see here I have installed quite a many apps such as the ES file explorer. Firefox, MX Player, uh, Google Maps and Ulysses Speedometer there are many more apps installed in this so currently it is working but in case your digipad is working and you need to restart it immediately well there is a hard button that you can use to restart the digipad without having to turn off the car and that button is situated right below the micro SD card slot right here so you just have to open up the micro SD card slot so once you open up the card slot there is a small section of button uh, below the micro SD card slot media button so I think uh, you guys might see there is a small slot here and uh, that's I think that is the square box I think it's a long box cylindrical box right there. So you just have to insert a pin or a small pointed object into this uh, box right here into this slot. So which you can see right now I am inserting this right here. So just insert it right there and you need to press and hold it for a few seconds. So right now I am putting the pin inside and uh, if I just press it there is a feedback I, I get uh, once I press that and once I get that feedback that gives a confirmation that the button has been pressed and it is going to restart the digipad. So here you go I am doing that right, exactly right now and there you go I just click that button and the display turned off automatically and now it is going to restart. So basically this is not a reset button it is just going to restart the digipad. So if you are someone who thinks uh, pressing the button right here is going to reset the digipad well it's not all your initial settings all your apps are going to stay just like that and it's not going to change anything it's only going to restart the digipad and uh, as you are seeing on the screen right now my digipad is restarting without me having to turn off the car and my engine is still running so this is the way you can uh, restart the digipad if you face some sort of an issue or maybe a hanging problem or the software issue or any software glitch whenever you face a problem you just need to insert a pin into the small slot right here uh, and as you can see the digipad has restarted and if I press the ok button all the apps are still existing right here none of them have gone away and uh, as you can see this is not a hard reset this is just a restart button so that's done that is the first part of this video I wanted to show you how you can restart the digipad without having to turn off the car or turn off the engine as well so once the restart is done so now I'm going to show you how you can reset the digipad well in order to reset the digipad the first thing which you need to do is go into the app section of the digipad and once you head into the app section there is a button called as the settings button the main settings of the digipad are accessed from here so if you click on the settings button it is going to take you down into the settings section in the settings menu of the digipad and if you come down here there is a option called as reset which is written right below the account section so if you click on the reset button right here it is going to ask for an option called as the factory data reset erase all data on radio so this is the option guys wherein your digipad will be wiped out completely and it will be as good as new when you first brought out the car it won't have any of the apps it won't have any of the settings you need to manually configure everything from the initial start so this is a very useful feature when actually the digipad is having some issue some sort of a hanging or some sort of a software glitch or maybe the screen is shaking or there is no notification bar from top so there are many issues uh, while doing uh, while working in the digipad and as we all know the digipad is a really bad unit it has a really outdated hardware and software and having such outdated hardware and software does cause some of the issues while usage so let's just go ahead and do a factory data reset so let's just go ahead and click on the factory data reset option so if you click on that it is going to ask if you confirm all your settings will be reset to factory data this will include your configured account system and application data and system settings so it is also asking you to delete all media data of the radio's internal user memory 
no data storage or attached USB port or micro SD card slot will not be affected. So if you reset the data, any of the music files or video files or any files which are stored in your micro SD card or your pen drive which have inserted in the USB drive is not going to be deleted and only the internal storage of the digipad is going to be wiped out. So if you click on the delete my storage and uh, it is going to wipe out the entire media storage of the internal storage and your micro SD card slot remains safe. So just click on that and click on the reset device button. So if you reset device button, if you click on that, it is now again going to ask for a confirmation that is erase all your data and reset system settings. It is impossible to reverse this action. So be careful while doing this and uh, do this only when it is required and you need not do this every time. And if you are facing a problem with the digipad and if there is any issue with the digipad, you can go ahead and do this. So let's just go ahead and reset the device. Now I've just clicked the button of reset device and now it is going to go into recovery settings of the digipad. Now every Android unit has its own recovery option built in inside the uh, device by the OEM. So this recovery basically what it does is it recovers an original file of the digipad, an original software file wherein it loads the entire software in a new pattern and it wipes out all the entire memory which was previously loaded onto the digipad. So this is a screen you are going to face once you click on the reset digipad button. So it is going to be a brand new software, a brand new uh, appearance just like the way when you brought, the, you brought your first car and you have to configure everything back to normal like how you used to use it initially. So now the digipad has resetted and uh, as you can see that I'm getting a initial greeting screen and if I just click on the OK button now it is going back to the radio so let me just click on the home button and uh, as you can see all my initial apps which I was uh, showing on the screen initially which they are now gone away none of the apps exist and uh, even if I go into the app section all the settings and apps are defaulted and uh, none of the initial apps exist and the digipad is very new right now so let's just go ahead and dive into the settings button and uh, even here you can see my even Wi-Fi is not connected Wi-Fi is turned off and everything is turned off so initially this is the way you brought the digipad when you brought your car and this is the way it is going to reset and uh, even you can see the date and time has also been reset and it's very important that uh, once you reset your digipad you need to set your date and time properly now, only when you do that you will be able to install apps and you'll be able to uh, use some of the functions of the digipad and if you haven't done that the digipad is going to throw up an error and you might get confused that why it is not working so whenever you reset your digipad make sure you set the date and time properly and once you have set that you can go ahead and use the digipad to its original features so that's it guys i hope you like this video and you gain some valuable information out of this regarding how you can restart and reset the digipad and if you did make sure you subscribe to my channel and also like this video and also comment below what you feel about this video and what other features you want to see of the digipad in the upcoming videos as well so i hope you like this video and i hope you won't go away without subscribing to my channel and that will mean a lot to me and that will support me and inspire me to bring out more and more interesting videos this is travel tech signing off and have a really nice day